Are you frustrated to charge your hearables frequently? Most of the wireless hearables and speakers have seen to date are Bluetooth classic devices which consume more battery power due to high bandwidth requirements for audio transmission. Now, Clarinox implemented and tested the Bluetooth audio using Bluetooth Low Energy technology that reduces the power consumption with improved audio quality. Thanks to Bluetooth Special Interest Group, simply call this Bluetooth SIG to standardize the low complexity communication codec, LC3. Clarinox provides the Bluetooth Low Energy Stack with a simple API application programming interface approach, which helps the application engineers to develop their applications with ease and hassle free. The Clarinox Blue API gives the flexibility to set up audio path, transfer, or receive the audio data. Discovering of GAT services or characteristics and configuring the notifications. The API architecture exposes a single callback function to notify all local device and remote devices events such as connection establishment, disconnect, pairing, data length extensions, etc. Other set of APIs called Board Support Package APIs make it simple for customers to bind Clarinox BlueStack to their targets. This abstraction layer which is maintained by our BSP, also assists clients who need to port their applications to another platform without touching to the source code. Clarinox also provides the API documentation which explains the usage of each APIs. Clarinox provides a sophisticated debugging tool called Clarify to better serve LE Audio developers. Clarify assists developers in meeting important project deadlines so that the product's peak to market criteria are satisfied without sacrificing quality. Clarify provides detailed threading, memory use, and memory leak analysis to help you tune your applications. Also, Clarify delivers audio stream analysis to enable applications that require audio performance adjustment such as echo cancellation with improved product quality and streaming functionality. Here, we demo a reference application to demonstrate the Bluetooth audio transmission using the Low Energy Audio Bluetooth Stack. The Bluetooth Low Energy uses the central and peripheral roles to realize the audio use cases. Let us take a look at the audio transmission between two devices which represents a smartphone and speaker in real-time scenario. In technical terminology, the central smartphone application works as audio source and the peripheral speaker works as audio sync. The source transmits the audio data, the sync receives and starts the playback. On the left side, we have the central smartphone application and on the right, we have the peripheral speaker application. The applications for this demonstration are run on Windows 10 with late Bluetooth 5.2. Firstly, we initialize the Clarinox Blue Low Energy Stack in both applications. We do that by choosing the applicable menu options. Next, we advertise the presence of the speaker to turning on advertising mode from the peripheral application. The speaker is now visible to all the Bluetooth devices in the proximity. We scan from the smartphone application and connect to the speaker. Both devices are now connected with each other. Now we set up the Bluetooth audio on both applications. The audio data is transmitted between two audio stream endpoints, one on each device. These endpoints are referred as ASE in short. We create and initialize the GAT database with two ASEs, one acting as SYNC and other as SOURCE. In this demonstration, we focus on the SYNC ASE on the peripheral device and central device acting as the source ASE. 
we said the SYNC AC would support its codec capabilities such as code type, sampling frequency, frame duration, number of channels, etc., exposing them to the central device. Now, discover the AAC on the peripheral device and list them. We actually do a GAT discover characteristics here. Bind to the desired AAC on the peripheral device, which is the SYNC AAC. Once bound, we would be able to configure the peripheral AAC as required. Configure the AAC with the desired codec configuration and enable the AAC to receive the audio data. For every operation, there would be notification and acknowledgement messages received on the respective devices. The codec to be used to encode and decode audio data has been configured. For example, the coding type as LC3, sampling frequency as 32,000 Hz, frame duration as 10 milliseconds, and number of channels as 1. We now establish the isochronous connection and a data path between the two devices with which the audio data packets are transmitted. It's now all set and the ASAs in the devices are fully configured and enabled to transmit the audio data packets between them. Let us start encoding the audio data with the Low Complexity Communication Codec LC3 and start transmitting. The audio data is now being transmitted from the central source ASA device to the peripheral SYNC ASA device. The peripheral application decodes all the received encoded audio data and plays the stream. Thank you for watching this presentation. For more details, please visit our corporate site www.clarinox.com.